Hi, this is Dan from EasyShip. Today, we'll be going over how to set up your Shopify store through the EasyShip dashboard. First, you'll scroll over to this Connect page, under which you'll pick the new integration. You'll see all the integrations available through EasyShip here. Next, click on your Shopify store here. In doing so, you'll include the store URL, the default product category for your store, as well as your own default dimensions. These dimensions will be used when calculating the rates when there are no parcel size available. You can always change this later through the product listing page. Next, click on connect. This will bring you directly to your own Shopify store, which you have linked here. And here, you'll be able to download the app through the Shopify app marketplace. Once it brings you back, you'll see that your store has easily connected to your EasyShip dashboard. You'll see a couple different options to sync your orders, your rate to checkout, as well as your products. Next, we'll be able to download your orders through the Create Shipments tab here. There are three ways to create a shipment. As you can see up here, if you click on this Add Shipments tab, you can either create an individual shipment import from a file, or sync directly from your own Shopify store. When clicking on the sync from store, after just a few seconds, you'll see all your orders pull in that are unfulfilled from your Shopify store. Now that we've downloaded our orders directly from Shopify, let's click on one of them to edit the order. Here on the edit order page, you'll be see everything that your customer has purchased. Description of the items down here, description of the origin, sales channel Shopify, the order number, as well as the order creation date. And above, you'll be able to see the dimensions of the entire order together. And it's important to note that these dimensions above are for the entire order and not for the individual products. The three items together stacked on top of each other through our algorithm determines that this is the correct size for the order. The weight is also calculated, and this, in addition to the dimensions, are very important for determining accurate rates. Next, if you click on the edit receiver, you'll be able to see all the information for your customer that was input into the system. And finally, by clicking on edit courier, this will allow you to see all the different courier options that were available for the customer, and that you have the option to edit through here. The choice on the top you can see is the customer's choice through Shopify. However, you can also see below different options should you want to use a different courier option. We do offer a couple different ratings for you to determine which courier you should use, including the delivery time, the standard for tracking, our star rating, and the total cost overall. It's important to take information from all these different indicators to determine exactly which service you'd like to use. You may be able to choose an option based off of cost. However, when shipping to certain countries, it's recommended to choose a higher standard for tracking or overall rating. This may eventually increase the cost of shipping, but it will guarantee that you will be able to ship your product successfully to your customer. Next, purchase the label. All you have to do is click on the order here, and go over to the ship page on the top right. In doing so, you'll see this just to confirm all the information here for your store, for the courier. Choose whether or not you'd like to schedule a pickup or drop off below. Then, in the top right of the corner, click on next, and then you can confirm. Congratulations, purchased your first label. And this will bring you to the Manage Shipments tab. The Manage Shipments tab will show you all of the orders that you have already purchased, including the one just recently purchased here. Click over here on the left to see all orders that need to be downloaded. Simply click on the order here. 
and click on the top right, Download Documents. This will download all the important documents that you need in order to print out to ship your item to your customer. The helpful tab here will show up to show you exactly what you need to provide for your customer. Next, we will go back to the Manage Shipments tab by clicking All to see all available orders that have been processed. Here you'll see all the important information for your order, as well as the Easy Ship ID number, order, receiver information, courier information, tracking, and the current status. Here you can see that you currently have to drop off the order to the courier in order for it to be shipped. Next, by clicking on these three dots over here, you'll see even further information that will be very important for tracking. You'll see the whole status history here, which will be very helpful in case your customer ever reaches out to you. You'll be able to re-download all the shipping documents through here, commercial invoice through here, as well as see a summary of the order below. If you need to cancel your order before it's shipped, simply click over here on the Cancel Shipment tab. And above, if you need to reschedule your handover to the courier, simply click on Reschedule Handover. Now that you've successfully purchased the label and have begun shipping your orders, it's important to go over a couple settings. By going back to the Connect page, you'll be able to see the settings for your individual Shopify store. Under Sync Orders, if you click More, you'll see more information re regarding the store, updating the order status on Shopify, and whether or not you'd like to automatically sync your orders from Shopify. We recommend turning this on to make things as easy as possible for you. Below, you'll be able to activate your store checkout. Now, it's very important that if you want to see Easy Ships rates at checkout, that you activate your own checkout here. This includes being able to show taxes and duties at checkout. Now that my checkout has been activated, click on settings and you'll see all that's currently available. You can add additional processing time, show taxes and duties, offer free or discounted shipping, show a courier score at checkout, and choose whether or not you want to include pickup fees. Below, by clicking on more under products, you'll see some important information which you did create once you linked your Shopify store which includes the default product category, default dimensions, and choosing whether or not you'd like to automatically add or update your products whenever you sync your orders.